Welcome to Out of Memory. I'm Christopher Hampson. And I'm AJ Hamilton. Out of Memory is a podcast where we talk about childhood memories of anything. Oh, God, I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I can't do this. <gasps> yeah. Out of Memory is a podcast where we talk about childhood memories of anything from our past that we enjoyed or infected us in ways we can't possibly understand and revisit them today and see if they are worth keeping in our memories. In this first segment, we'll take you down the rabbit hole of our fond recollections of this week's subject, and then we'll take a break. During which time we will revisit that media or whatever we're talking about that day and mm-hmm. some way or another uh possibly take a pee break grab another drink and come back with fresh eyes and fresh brains brains this is out of memory this is out of memory this is our podcast straight, straight out of the memory and straight out of memory Oof. <laughs> <laughs> straight speaking out of, of memory speaking of being super gangsta word have you ever wanted to shoot your friends in the face but Maybe not really hurt them or not get incarcerated for it. Oh, well, what's the fun in that? (laughs) Well, there's lots of fun in that. uh, (laughs) Because the topic of today's episode is Nerf guns. Nerf guns! I love Nerf guns. guns. And I have to imagine that the idea of Nerf gun has probably gone way, way back in time. Uh, Probably to the first instance of there being little boys. Um... They've always wanted to like stab or shoot each other. Well, of course. Well, before um, I had Nerf guns, my dad would, (laughs) this is crazy, but he would cut uh, the shape of a rifle out of a piece of uh, like one by four. And, uh, and he would make it into a, uh, to a rifle for me. It Mm -hmm. it didn't have any moving parts or anything like that, but I, it had a little, uh, little hole for a, for a trigger. And, uh, and that's, you know, I would go around saying bang, bang, bang. And that was, that was all I needed for a you while. still go around saying bang, bang, bang. I do, but inside my car, uh, in, in traffic and, uh, <laughs> you know, that's, uh, that's as gangster as I get. Nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, did, did I just hear you, uh, open a bottle or something? Yes, I am, uh, I'm drinking a, a classy, uh, white wine that comes in a bottle with a, uh, a crazy ass cork. It's great. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I heard that, uh, that sweet cork action. <laughs> mm-hmm. I've, uh, I've got a little uh, tiny tumbler of some uh, Tuolumne uh, whiskey. Ooh, yummy. Yeah, I was trying to think of a uh, theme to drink for, uh, for tonight. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Colt 45? Is that a... That's, yeah. That's, yeah that, that, could, that could be one. I mean, I can't think of any other... Uh, uh, you, could have a, you could have a secret shot. Ooh, well, any shot really would be good. Yeah, secret, I suppose but so. But secret shot. We should make... What about bullet whiskey? Bullet, yes. God, that, yeah. Where would... I should have asked you. I should have asked you for ideas. Yeah, I mean, we barely play on this podcast as it is, so... <laughs> <laughs> Coordinating on drinks was... Uh, we were bound to lose. Yeah, exactly. All right, so Nerf, man. Yeah. Um, uh, what did you have? Which, uh, what, what was your uh, arsenal? So I recently mm-hmm. came across a uh, a picture of I, I want to say I was like uh, seven or eight mm-hmm. at Christmas time, and uh, I had I had just opened up a present and I had the happiest look on my face. <laughs> and even my brother, who wasn't even opening that uh, present, was like had the biggest grin on his face. Like, I'm gonna like, be able me. to play with that definitely, yeah, pr- pretty much. And it it took me a while to like figure out what the corner of this box was that I could see from this old like Polaroid, and it was Nerf bow and arrow. Oh, and I had one of those too. Nerf bow and arrow was so badass. It um, was. It was like uh, it was like fall, like firing a uh, like an empty water bottle at something. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It was not a um, a very small projectile. No, no, the ladies loved it. Um, <laughs> the the cool thing about Nerf bow and arrow was that it didn't have like a uh, like a governor like uh, all the rest of these do where mm. you're you're kind of limited on on the amount of power that you put behind it where mm-hmm. it's, you're just kind of cocking things back in in most cases yeah uh this was just kind of like pull it back and yeah there there was i guess a limit to how far back it could go of course but if you pulled it all the way back it was definitely it shot way too hard 
I'd also like that it had like in the uh, the body of it, it had like a little kind of cut out circle uh, with uh, like crosshairs in it, so you could you could try to like aim at something. Oh I yeah, don't remember it, how accurate it was? No, probably not at all. I mean, you were shooting a large uh, piece of foam, yeah. So it you know, <laughs> I don't I I'm not sure how uh, how far that was going to go. Do you remember how far that would go? Uh, well, according to the commercial, mm-hmm. which which was pretty extreme and also uh, misleading, it, it I think it was supposed to go something like fifty feet. I don't know if I ever got it that far. <laughs> Maybe it even said a hundred feet. I don't remember. It's just like the uh, the Nerf uh, uh, footballs that they would show a professional football player throwing, and you were like, "My God, I can I can throw it over my house," and then it would just get stuck up in the gutters. Yeah, and, and some physicists would always see those commercials and like shit himself because like there is definitely something <laughs> called terminal velocity. I actually have a sad story about the uh, the Nerf bow and arrow. Oh no! Um, I was a dumb little kid, and I would uh, I shot it at my father a couple of times, um, and as much as it probably didn't hurt him, uh, it very much likely, uh, uh, very most likely annoyed him to all hell and he took it away from me and i did not get it back I, <laughs> the, the one toy that you were denied <laughs> <laughs> well the rest of the stuff really didn't i mean the the other ones had small missiles and but i learned my lesson i never shot any of the you know the beast wars or the gi joes or anything uh at my father again Less, lesson learned. Yes, indeed. Uh, next time I'm over there, I'm going to kick all the floorboards and find <laughs> where he stuffed that thing because I, I want to play with that thing. Parenting. <laughs> uh, was that your uh, was that your first Nerf gun? Um, I want to say like one of the original single shots was my uh, or it, like you said, we, we, we mentioned secret shot. Um, I think I might have had one of those first, but that came yeah. out a little bit later, didn't it? Uh, I want to say that at least by the time that I uh, started playing like with friends, um, there was definitely two secret shots out. Okay. Um, So I I don't know. I I would say from the time I got Nerf Boner to when I started playing with friends, maybe it was like three years and no idea what what range of year that was. Let's say 1994. Um, Yeah, why not? But yeah, the the secret shot was uh, was cool because it had the what looked like, I believe, to be like a scope on the top of it, and it would kind of flip they down flip and have up. another... Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it, it fired the uh, the big fat dart ones that uh, I got hit right in the eye one time, and I had to stop playing for, for a while. Oh, yeah, those little... those The, the ones with the tips on them, not just the, the regular... Uh, yeah, the, well, yeah. There, there was there was big big ones with suction cuffs, and there was right. like uh, small ones, and I, I mm-hmm. think they started to default to the small ones just because <laughs> so many eyes were getting stuck out or something yeah absolutely now i i think i had uh one of those ones that you 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 cocked back you pulled it had like the finger ring or something like that it pulled back and then you would just insert one in and then you would shoot it it was god you needed a bandolier of of bullets to to actually make say a war uh worthwhile because otherwise you're just running and getting your uh your little dart yeah. all the time it pre- yeah pretty much uh, there was a lot of that i think at the beginning uh mm-hmm. where everything was like single shot or you had like two with you yeah <laughs> uh but that 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 secret shot that i think that uh, you're talking about mm-hmm. the the green one secret yeah. shot two uh that fired one sneakily <laughs> from the handle which yeah. i don't think that i ever hit anybody with like well, even when i was like trying to like aim it not so sneakily actually but, now i do remember one of the commercials because yeah. that was the big, uh, the big that was thing. A selling point. That was the selling point is that somebody would have you cornered and you'd shoot your your first uh, bullet and then you would raise your hands all sneaky like and be like, oh, I give up. And then you'd hit the other button and it would shoot out of the handle. It was so, fool, fool me once, fool <laughs> me once, you know, believing that, uh, first of all, that when you put your hands up, you'd be able to like aim that, yeah. that crap handle blast that, that came out. Didn't hit anybody. Fool me twice. Shame on me, though, because <laughs> if you put your hands up in a nerf war, 
you're just going to get shot in the face. That's exactly I'm pretty sure yeah. that that's the rules of engagement. <laughs> Surrender well, or crying, still shoot them in the face. Well, and the other person probably had like the bazooka or something so much better than uh, than you did. If you only had the secret shot, for God's sake, like you had to be that that yeah. seems that seems like a Butch Cassidy Sundance kid cornered in the mission type of gun where it's like. I mean, we're going to die anyway, so we might as well take one ex- extra person out. I don't know. Uh, yeah, no, and I, I was definitely the kid that, you know, my parents didn't drop a whole lot of money yeah. on uh, on toys for me. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I my first, like, uh, gun after I uh, had broken all of my darts for Nerf Bone Arrow and it was useless uh, was Secret Shot. And then, <laughs> I like, the next one that I got up was the Nerf Missile Launcher, oh, which was... Wow. Which was amazing because I got to like you had, you had four uh, little darts on this thing, yeah. and you could fire them in uh, succession by like pumping back and forth, basically. And I got pretty freaking accurate with that thing. Nice. Uh, uh, but all the other kids on my street, they had like the uh, the Nerf rocket launcher, which was like ooh. Uh, it fired the Nerf bow and arrow size rockets, and it held oh. like six of them. Jesus uh, Christ. So not only did you have more ammo uh, and look more badass, but that thing freaking hurt. Naturally, of course it did. Um, it, it just doesn't make, at least we weren't throwing lawn darts at each other. I wish right? we had been. Well, yeah, some people, I, I definitely wish we had, uh, we had been playing with lawn darts. There were some dumb guns, like a, a gun where, uh, it would shoot like all of your, your, uh, ammunition at the same time. Like it was just a, do you remember that one that was a line and it would just like, shoot all of them at the same time rather than it being like in a clip form yeah yeah those are real like, well, dumb that it's like I, I believe it's the nerf uh shoot your wad uh, <laughs> yeah no they, they they pulled in some like crackhead uh like designers and uh, engineers to put together some of them like there was there was uh an animal series that they they pulled in like okay uh, the Razorback, which mm. arguably was kind of a, a cool gun, but it was way too big for any uh, kid. Because like you, you rest it on your uh, like your hip, and you hold it like way out because it was like a three feet long gun, and you got to turn this crank. And there's this poorly like fed in chain that you could fire. I don't oh, know. Oh, like, I totally eight, remember that one. Bullets yeah. from that was the uh, yeah. I think it was a Razorback. Yeah, and you um, you cranked it. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you yeah. crank it. So like the whole the whole thing about it was pretty badass. Yeah, uh, it just like completely inaccurate because like having the little <laughs> child strength to like crank that and hold it way out in front of you and aim it just d- didn't work no uh, no it was just gonna spray the block yeah basically and then there was the secret shot uh version mm-hmm. of the animals which was uh this it was a scorpion i can't remember if it had like some kind of crap uh cool name or rad name like the whip tail <laughs> or something like that but basically you had a uh, a scorpion gun Mm-hmm. which is literally exactly how it sounds. It's just like a trigger underneath a giant scorpion. And the, the tail would stick straight up. Uh, <laughs> and so when you would pull the trigger, it would whip forward and it would like shoot it off. So y- you couldn't properly aim it because it was just a mixed bag of like where the fuck that tail fell. Right. Uh, so yeah, you're, you're just getting shot in the face and you have a, a, a that, toy that looks like an animal. That was a part of the series that would... Um, I know you, you were saying that they are animals, but there was like a... I want to say a manta ray or something like that, that there was a double shot, but it was like one of those handheld things that goes over your, uh, your wrist. Conceptually that that's kind of cool. It's kind of, yeah. I mean, if, if it actually was like a laser gun or something like that, that, that just, you know, you, you keep squeezing your palm and it keeps shooting out. But this, I think was a, a again, a, like a double shot thing. And then it was done. <laughs> And speaking of misleading commercials and in that animal series, yeah. there, there was one called the Eagle Eye uh, that <gasps> like in that the com- in the commercial, it was like a laser sight that was coming <laughs> off of this thing. So it's like the most accurate aiming ever. But the toy <laughs> that they give you is pre- it's just a light bulb with like a, a red piece of plastic over it. And like it shines, it shines a pretty accurate like aiming spot. Uh, mm-hmm. f- for like a foot in front of you and then anything further than that away you can't see crap <laughs> oh there was another one that was um the nerf rattler do you remember the nerf rattler it was one of the first like um uh handheld uh, uh rotating guns 
the uh that oh, that, that yes, would turn I turn do. turn yeah and you know what that mm-hmm. one was badass yeah it had like a long handle like a like yes. a snake right? oh dude i do remember that and the, like the handle was actually kind of adjustable so like it it mm-hmm. didn't have to be curled all the time and uh yeah you crank it so it was it was kind of inaccurate but i think a lot of kids just fired it from the hip like a like some kind of crazy shotgun well and what are we gonna what are we doing really uh are, are we going for for headshots are we going for hit count i was when i'm running around with a pistol <laughs> with two bullets of oh course. yes i was of, well of course you were but that, that's that's a question um that that i have um what did uh, like was there did you have wars Oh, hell yeah. You know, I mean, I, I mean yes, that's, we did. That's why you get the guns. What like, were, besides, like, firing up your parents and having them take it away. Naturally. Um, you, you have a war with your friends. What was what were the rules of your war? Did you, like, did people die if they got hit too many times? Or was it just enough time, to- you know, you, you tried to be... Like I got you. No, you didn't. Blah blah blah. Like was well, was it? Yeah, uh, exactly. case by case <laughs> basis. Okay. No, yeah, it's it, it's totally the rules are very clear. You, uh, everyone gets their ammo. Uh, I think everyone hides, and then mm-hmm. they kind of come out and one shot, and you're dead unless someone <laughs> says, "Nah, you didn't hit me because they didn't feel it because they were wearing a baggy sweater." And then you right. argue about it. Everyone goes home, and then someone's pissed off and doesn't play next time. Somebody probably gets punched. Maybe. That means they lost the Nerf War. <laughs> Nerd. Shouldn't bitch out. <laughs> Take your loves. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I didn't... Uh, I, I liked a lot of the uh, inventiveness uh, mm-hmm. of a lot of these guns that came along. Even even the crap ones. Yeah. Like the, the Scorpion. Uh, I, I, I like that they were trying something. <laughs> yeah. I, what I didn't uh, get into was uh, when they tried to make this into like a weird like melee situation where there's swords and axes and nerf shields. I'm pretty sure I had a sword. I, that, that brings it, uh, brings back some memories, but yeah, what does, it's just a big piece of foam. Just, yeah. just get one of your, uh, one of the, what's it called? The noodles from the pool. It does pretty the much. same damn thing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the nerf noodle yeah that i have to believe that there's someone in a a conference room <laughs> high up in the nerf uh corporate business uh in the the mid 90s saying like you know <laughs> we really got to go after that uh that plastic sword market <laughs> <laughs> too many kids are getting hurt we can bring a whole safety aspect thing of beating your friends in the head yeah yeah absolutely yeah uh did you ever get like really injured by uh by nerf weapons um you don't call them that no i mean i i i think i took uh took a few to the eye but like i i closed my eye in time it just was like i'm a kid and i got hit with a projectile i'm gonna probably uh get upset or or something like that but no i nothing that really uh really made a mark or anything like that how about you uh yeah i I get hit in the eye with that uh the secret shot <laughs> freaking secret shot you weren't watching out i i wasn't i, I didn't know it was coming they got me <laughs> um I, I think that was probably the worst of it yeah i um, think I, I, I did i did work with a, a couple of guys that uh they had nerf guns all over their office and like so i thought that was inviting when uh, uh-huh. i came in there they're like oh no we don't play anymore because <laughs> uh cause some guy across the office like like rocketed one rocketed one like 50 feet but it hit somebody right in the eye and i guess they freaked out on him oh jesus yeah i mean there's there's some uh some crazy ones that we'll get into uh in the um uh in the next uh half but uh there's there's a basically a a sniper rifle um that they make now called the centurion that i uh gave a welt to a friend you know because you're apparently you're not supposed to uh, get within ten feet of people with the uh, with Nerf anymore. I'm pretty they, sure that, that stuff nerf is for strong. Like, there's no rules with Nerf. I no, think no, no. You're, you're getting right up on people. I think for ten years now they've been telling people like, don't shoot it at your friend's face. <laughs> That's why we bought it. But also they in, I think they increased the powers of the springs and crazy shit like that because we we basically used uh, air. Uh, or, or like very small springs when we were kids, right? To, to uh, shoot it out. Yeah. You yeah. know, um, did you have, um, 
Do you remember Nerf ball guns that you would like feed a like a not a, a maybe a golf ball sized uh, yeah, ball? I, and, yeah, I do. And I, think, I think that the the weapons they had originally were mm-hmm. impossible to hit anybody with. Yeah, uh, the Nerf slingshot comes to mind. Okay, um, and it's exactly how it sounds. Like, it's, oh my god, I had it's that like a, too. Like a tower that holds three, and then you have on like a like an elastic cable, like a yeah. plastic hard ring that you pull back, and like you gotta like not only smack it out of this tower, but also like pray to God it hits anything, which it never did. Yes, I had that, and that was real dumb. Yeah. I was I was like, wait, I so so I got these three balls flying around, um, and everybody else is just like hitting me with, uh, uh, you know, air powered launchers. And I'm just like, ah, God, what? Ah, Come on. Um, did did they have, when we were kids, did they have, I'm, I'm, um, uh, giving it up to you because you, uh, are, are the expert on this. Did we have, give it up. Um, did we have clips back then? Were there, were there clip guns? Yeah, in that uh, that animal series, uh, mm-hmm. along with the uh, the Razorback, there was one called the Sawtooth, um, and it worked half the time. It just <laughs> like it it was a pain in the ass because like the the clip could really slide in there, and you had to line it up just so before you like you cock it, otherwise it would jam up. It was like. Um, I don't know. It was like a bad movie where like the, whoever had that gun was like obviously going to die in the Nerf War because it's like jammed. he got a couple of rounds of, oh, it, it's fucking jammed. Oh, you should have worn a helmet. Medic. <laughs> Where's Private Ryan? Yeah. Um, yeah. No, that's uh, I also remember I had just the I, I think they were fake uh, Nerf guns, so I don't even know if I should talk about them, but they were just the Ooh. they they looked like a desert eagle um in in size and you just slipped one in the front and then pulled it back you you cocked it like a regular gun and then you'd just shoot it out and it was like mm, well that was underwhelming oh just like fallout yeah pretty much <laughs> yeah uh I, a lot of the off-brand ones that i had um mm-hmm. they had weird mechanical parts again like i I, I can't fault these guys for their inventiveness because they had right. like actual like shells for their shotgun where like you would you would load the double barrel shotgun which like broke in half like a, a right a real like old school shotgun you'd yeah put them in there and you'd close it uh and like just the the breaking in half would actually like cock it on a pulley system mm-hmm. uh you close it and you fire it and then when you uh break it in half again it automatically ejects these two shells like with it's spring loaded so they'd like actually like fly out so oh, like that's the, right. The, the action of it was really cool, but yeah, I mean, a, a lot of times you're kind of like shaking the barrel of it, uh, pointed at the ground, and the uh, the dart eventually comes like snaking out. Yeah, naturally, Just like, couldn't even make it past the barrel. <laughs> so we we have to give it give it to uh, to Nerf for really perfecting that type of uh, uh, action. Yeah. Being, being... Now look how violent we are. Yay! Good good on us. Good on yeah. uh, America. <laughs> We're doing great. Um, <laughs> were there, remind me about Nerf video games. Were there n- yeah. n- Nerf video games? Yeah, there were. How'd that go? <gasps> I don't I mean, think I ever uh, played those. It was fine. I mean, pretty much it was a Nerf gun. I can't even call it a Nerf gun. It was just a plastic <laughs> gun that you hook up to your computer <laughs> And it's pretty much just a light gun game. Like there's, okay. there's shit that pops up. It was a really like uh, quickly made video game. Yeah. I don't even know how they justify it. Cause I want to say there was like splats that would happen on the screen. Like it was <laughs> like it, even more removed of like shooting somebody with anything solid. It was just, you shoot them with a liquid. Listen, they were trying their goddamn best. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, their don't try. Don't try that hard. <laughs> no right. no they yeah um i think well, uh i think yeah I mean, that's honestly that's that's all that i can kind of extract at this point from childhood what about you same yeah i'm uh stuff's bubbling up uh as as you talk about it more because Ooh. you're the expert Thanks. uh but uh just no there's uh there's not much else that i can uh i can say about it i am excited to uh take this break and uh do a little research and find find a little more about uh the subject of nerf 
yeah, I think, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll look into a lot of the later series, a lot of the crazy uh, bullshit that they came <laughs> out with, and uh, some of the uh, augmentations, I guess, that people have put together to make uh, Nerf guns really dangerous. Like yeah, we've some always of that looks wanted. super scary. It's going to yeah. be great. <laughs> we'll come back and scare you and shoot you all in the face with more information right after this. All right. memory all right and that was our break <laughs> cool we're back we are we're here <laughs> howdy yes howdy 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 um we uh looked into the history and uh current existence of nerf yeah or right nothing. <laughs> or something <laughs> or anything yeah hmm we mm, just this, we just went on the internet. This is <laughs> this is getting to be a, a very uh, existential podcast. Yeah. Uh, well, but uh, before we uh, jump into uh, the history, uh, did you have a chance to uh, screw around with any uh, Nerf weapons? I actually did. Um, I have a uh, what's it, it's from the Zombie Collection. Uh, it is called uh, a Hammer Shot. Hmm. And it's a uh, it's it's the zombie something hammer shot, and it's a, a it's a revolver, and it's uh, it's you cock it back and then you shoot it. So it's very it's really one handed for five shots. It's really cool. Nice. Uh, shot that around. Shot that at my girlfriend. She loved it. Does that shit have like a hammer? You pull back with your thumb and yeah. fire it that way, and that mm-hmm. that cocks it. That's enough to cock it. Exa- yeah, it is. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, and it's uh, unfortunately it's not the um, uh, it's it's the whatever darts that have the the hard head to it. I really like the suction darts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I realized what I just said. No, no, it's it's fine. I end up I end up giggling about a lot of things that are said on the show. Uh, yeah, so there there there's been a lot of uh, tips. Uh, <laughs> there's there's the missiles we talked about. That's obviously just like a blunt. Like I, uh, I black <laughs> I yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, th- there's suction cuffs. There uh, were some ones that had like some light up tape uh, around the actual body of them. Like oh yeah, from, from the electric eel, you pull the uh, the trigger, it would flash right as the dart was going out, and it would kind of have it glow. Um, uh, then just as far as other tips, there was a mm-hmm. Velcro tip one. Oh, yeah, that had uh, well, that was for target practice, wasn't it? It, You know, it was for target practice, but it did stick to a lot of fabric. So it, it uh, negated a lot of the. No-uh. Oh, like, wow. Like, you That's... didn't hit me. So like, obviously, like you got a fucking dart hanging from you. So I, you're, you're dead, <laughs> dude. That's how it happens in war. They see the That's why from everyone should have been forced to wear a flak jacket made out of Velcro. Yes. That would have been pretty cool. Yes. Or do something <laughs> more productive with their lives. What were we doing at 10? We weren't doing anything. Come on. No, nothing. I mean, nothing productive. Are you supposed to do something productive? I don't know. I think I I actually saw a video reviewing one of these Nerf guns and the kid was like 10 and he had like 180,000 views. So that's obscene. I, but I, <laughs> I mean, I feel like I feel ridiculous. like if I knew anything when I was 10, it probably was a lot about Nerf. Mhm. Mhm. Yeah. You could have you could have been the next uh Nerf Kid 68 or whatever this kid's name was. I'm not going to give him a plug. This yeah. is our pl- <laughs> this yeah. is our podcast. Yeah, we we plug ourselves and no one else <laughs> except for Nerf. Um, <laughs> all right, so uh yeah, that's good. You got to play around with the hammer shot. Yeah, um, how about you? Um uh, yeah, I I played around with a couple of like the uh more fully uh automated ones like there are a couple of the end, end strike series. Um, mm-hmm. there, there's this white one. I can't remember what the name of it was, but it's one that has kind of like a, a whirring motor um, w- with what looks like to be kind of like a, uh, I, I don't know, like it just kind of like smacks the dart as it uh, <laughs> as you like push it through uh, from its clip. Um, okay. So it, I don't know, it works okay. It gets jammed up if you try to fire it any faster than like one per second. Uh, that that one and the one that was like pretty much a uh like a mounted chain cannon uh that right? fires something like 40 darts uh which is it's fun but it's yeah. so cumbersome i can't imagine a 10 year old like holding this and running around but well, it, and it I is mean, cool I- you feel like a master chief with like holding this shit and just running around firing it 
Sure. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So um, it was created in 1969 by Ren Geyer, and uh, he was at Parker Brothers and their parent company. I don't know if they bought them that at that time, but I think they bought them since uh, Hasbro owns all of it. Uh, and funny enough, uh, Geyer also invented Twister two years earlier. So, you know, he's yeah, he's a he's actually in the Inventors Hall of Fame at Hasbro. And now uh, he, he's a household. No, no, no it's still Parker no, Brothers. No, yeah, yeah. He, he he's fine. Yeah, uh, <laughs> nothing ever came of his. I think he's a he's a music producer now or something crazy like that. So um, the history of uh, do you do you want to go into uh, what it's it's an acronym, right? Uh, Nerf stands for something. No, no, I'm wrong. <laughs> so there there's uh, th- there's a lot of. Uh, there's a lot of like misconception around it. So okay. yeah, there's there's the myth that it's uh, that Nerf stands for not expanding recreational foam. Uh, really? That's considered to be a backronym. Uh, where, oh. where people are just speculating what that possibly could mean. Um, OK. The, the term Nerf actually comes from racing. Um, oh, where uh, it, it's an old racing term. Basically, they, they would have trucks that would push the cars into uh, position and yeah they would put uh, like foam balls on the front of the truck so they wouldn't damage either the car or the truck itself. And huh. they just, they referred to them as Nerf. Where that term came from, I don't know. Honestly, I didn't dive even any deeper than that. Oh, my uh, goodness. But uh, it, it is possible that Nerf had maybe a different, uh, maybe they had an acronym for it, but sure. I, I couldn't see anything like that. The original spelling of uh, Nerf was uh, mm-hmm. capital N, lowercase e, and then capital R, capital F. So, oh, interesting. Who, who the hell knows? Who knows at all? Um, it also, funny enough, uh, my dad was actually in the Navy, and it either stands for Naval Emitter Reference File or <laughs> Naval Electromagnetic Radiation Facility. Well, that's, so it probably that's didn't come from, from that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I mean, I it. it probably, yeah. <laughs> no, uh. it it, uh, it actually it became popularized by uh, this guy trying to. Uh, figure out an, a whole like indoor game that they could sell. Uh, and the whole selling point was like, you could you could throw this fucking ball around and it won't knock <laughs> over the lamp. It won't hurt babies. It won't hurt grandma. I, apparently in the 1970s, <laughs> that was a, I, I don't know, a huge problem inside uh, American houses. Well, at, at what point did they have the um, the lawn darts yeah, that were, uh, no, I was actually looking at some of the most dangerous toys uh, that like a, a top 10 list or something like that. And lawn darts was probably one of the top ones because a four year old or a seven year old like died. It like stabbed him in the chest and they, they were dead, man. It was crazy. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and Jesus. so, I mean, so they, they had some pretty dangerous toys back then. So I suppose this, uh, this, this safety, aspect of it was actually a big selling point they were like ah don't kill your kids don't kill your grandparents don't worry by the way buy this snake oil <sighs> sorry i just took a shot <laughs> <laughs> lovely what are you drinking tonight uh i i just had a a pickleback and i'm washing Ooh. that down with some drake's ipa oh lovely yeah i just i i'm uh, drinking that's, a bit of a fat that's my tire. snake oil <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking some uh, some fat tire snake oil. Big old fatty, mm-hmm. fatty snake oil. Lovely, lovely. Straight to the hips. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, it's, so I. It's funny, like yeah. uh, the original promotion of uh, of Nerf, like the one of the first major ones, along with yeah. it being this safe toy. Uh, they they used the monkeys uh, to make a, a commercial. The monkeys. Yeah, sure. You know, you know the the yeah the, yeah uh, Beach Boy. Hey hey, we're the monkeys. Sure. Yeah, we have somebody <laughs> else write our music. Um, yeah, so they they did like a full commercial uh, for Nerf, and I guess that helped uh, popularize it, um, and led to uh, a couple other like endorsements along uh, the line where a uh, professional football player uh, helped to invent the actual Nerf football, which totally oh. slipped my mind. I mean, like back in the '90s, yeah, Nerf football was definitely a, a thing. Remember oh. that screamer? Yeah, oh, yeah, the, the that's Nerf right. screamer. Yeah, yeah. Where, where it for some odd reason it, you wanted to make it uh, shrieking while it flew. Wasn't <laughs> was there a banshee one? I would like that would seem 
the most apropos name for uh, for a nerf yeah. uh, screaming thing. It's it's strange that there isn't like some kind of uh, Halloween uh, seasonal toy where it's just like throw this through your neighborhood and it'll scream down the street. Ha ha. I, I guess that'd be littering, but <laughs> you put it on a string, yank it right back. Yeah. Um, <laughs> put it in the vending machine, get free soda. So one of the, I mean, this this came out in 69. Nerf itself no, came out in 69. Yeah. Um, and uh, it came out in 69, just to point out the, the year. Uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, I wonder if Star Wars got Nerf Herder from this. Yeah. Uh, like, tried to, tried to cross-promote. With that, because the there's the classic insult, uh, Leia calls Han a scruffy looking nerf herder. Yeah, let's 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 say obviously no, but uh, yes, what? for for the sake of this podcast, definitely that's where yeah, it's totally. From. I mean, they were similar to yaks. Uh, nerfs are apparently like uh, things that they they milk and stuff like that. And now that uh, Hasbro owns Star Wars and Nerf, um, they should cross promote and make Nerf nerfs. What do you think? Yeah, <laughs> well, I I don't even know what that be. That'd be like the gun itself is made of foam, and you just you just throw the fucking gun at people. No, it's just a puffy yak. <laughs> oh, okay. It's just a, a puffy yak. That's all. Got it. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, Hasbro also has, uh, I believe, started the Super Soaker line. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and I, I've seen a crossover too, like a Nerf Super Soaker, which was not uh, not air powered uh, propulsion, but I think it was hydro power. Where like there would be like a, a flurry of water that came along with the dart, uh, right? Obviously, oh, that didn't stick around, but right, yeah. Oh, um, wasn't there uh, the the water launching nerfs, uh, where where it would be a um, uh, I I don't know what it is, um, like a, a a rocket that was set on the ground and then you like propelled water through it and it would launch upward. Yeah, I remember for those. some reason. I don't know. I, I don't know I don't, why that would happen. I don't remember but. if uh, if that was nerf or not. I, I feel like I've seen <laughs> like more of those made out of just a uh, like a two liter bottle. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and Coke and uh, Mentos. But right? yeah, hey, yeah, uh, shoot those at your friends. Whatever. It's fun. Don't do that. We don't endorse that. No, we don't, don't do. Uh, you know, we we also don't endorse putting sharp things on the end of your uh, your nerf. Things which uh, which a lot of people online love to do. Apparently, they love to make Nerf more dangerous. I don't know why. Yeah, there's uh, there are people that professionally mod these Nerf guns, and mm-hmm. I dangerously probably. Yeah. But yes. uh, I mean, really, they they idealize what we've kind of always been hoping, like a Nerf gun would do. <laughs> like uh, a lot of these, like I, honestly, I, I I'm pretty sure they fire something like twenty darts per second or some shit like that Holy like god emptying full clips in just like a second and a half <laughs> can uh, you imagine how long that's going to take to clean up it, yes. before before you can play with another toy you are going to have to clean all of those up and or or you're not going to get a snack <laughs> and, well, and i need my snack yeah a lot of I these houses too. that these uh w- these like modded nerf guns are, are tested mm-hmm. in or, or displayed in uh, yeah, usually they are a mess. Like it looks like they're in construction <laughs> or something. So maybe they never get cleaned up. I don't know. <laughs> they just knock down walls with their modded uh, Nerf guns. <laughs> Have the intern do it, and also set my bed up. I don't know. It's, it always seems like they're like moving in or moving out. Set my Nerf bed up. I'm yeah. just gonna sleep on a huge pile of. Oh, speaking of huge pile of uh, of Nerf uh, uh, pellets. How uh, do, do we know how many? Uh, nerf uh pieces of uh darts that they've that they've made over the years uh i've seen a figure but maybe you have that on hand i don't i do i (laughs) do actually (laughs) haha pimped my own self good for me good segue served it Uh, up to yourself (laughs) (laughs) um actually um for over 400 million darts are made per year and i do remember the other figure that goes along with that I believe uh, end to end, the darts uh, would be long enough to wrap around the world nine times. Nine times. My God. Yeah, there's uh, there's there's about four billion in existence. 
Can you imagine that? I can. Where, I can. Where are all because, those things? Because there are, well, you, you know that there are islands that are just trash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're also very soft and also <laughs> can be fired out of plastic guns. Well, and they're hiding under every single couch in America, at least. Oh, yeah. Or or right. most startup offices. <laughs> Guys, let's just take like 15 minutes to uh, just clear your heads, you know, take out some aggression. You know, uh, Paula, I saw you eyeing me today at the meeting. And I just want to say right here, hit me right here with a dart. Don't worry about it. Where is this? I don't, is this I don't know. Like this Minnesota? Minnesota? Is- this is my startup. Oh. Yeah, it's cheaper in Minnesota to set up a uh, an office, so don't worry about it. Don't you That's know. Th- <laughs> We're doing it for the tax haven shit, man. <laughs> Come on. Get it. Uh, <laughs> well, I think that's a good segue for, <laughs> Please. for the evolution of, uh, of, of Nerve. There, yeah. Uh, I, through the years, there has been many like mechanical advances. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I believe well, that you had you had found a chart. Uh, well, I think yeah, that nicely it, displays that. Absolutely. I mean, it it started out um, kind of with um, with air um, air propulsion, or or even just uh, I think air and elastic were were kind of the original uh, things. As we were talking about before we went to break about the. Um, not the crossbow, the bow and uh, arrow. nerf bow and arrow. Well, the nerf bow and arrow as well, but the um, uh, the cro- uh, the oh my god, why am I uh, forgetting what this is? It's the um, raptor. The, you, you pull, you pull back, and you shoot. Uh, Rattler. It's, it's the <laughs> the thing that Bart has in the back of his pocket. Skateboard. Good lord. <laughs> Homer uh, Simpson. <laughs> good lord. Slingshot is what you're talking about. Slingshot, thank you. Yeah, thank you for helping me out. It's all stopping fun. You, so you, you <laughs> I just dropped it. I just stopped stopped looking for it. I know. Uh, and you picked it right anymore. back up. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Uh, but uh, you know, they there uh, there was elastic. And then they moved on to uh, to spring loaded, and uh, afterwards they they did piston and different types of motors. I mean, we've 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 seen these um, these insane launchers. Like like you were saying, there are now just off the mar- uh, you know um, in in store you can buy them. It's not even aftermarket stuff where you you can uh, put in the batteries and it just starts firing 40, 50, 60, uh, 60 shots a second or a minute or something like that. It's insane. Pro- probably a minute. Yeah, probably a minute. I was going to say second. I prefer mine aftermarket or pr- uh, My in goodness. a back alley with the serial number scratched off. <laughs> Just so nobody can trace. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Your nerf crimes. <laughs> I wonder if there have been nerf crimes. Like besides hmm. like, uh, I'm sure there's been somebody who's robbed a bank with a nerf gun that's been like spray painted. Uh, Absolutely. I want to know yeah. beyond that, like, has there been like actual like assault committed? <laughs> Not that I condone I, it or like hope that it happened. I'm just curious if it has happened. And I would I, I would I feel bet like it's you, likely I would bet you that some teacher did sue a child or their family for assault. And it was like the completely overblown assault. But uh, yeah, so uh, so they've they have varied over the years uh, with what they uh, how different uh, guns are made, how different guns propel. Um, I I personally like just like the the simple, uh, you know, like the Maverick or uh, what am I what am I thinking? Just just the stuff where you cock it and uh, and shoot it. That's uh, that's the classic nerf to me. Yeah, uh, like a yeah. like a Fall Out Boy song. No, I uh, I I like uh, the Maverick a lot. Um, yeah, it to me it just it makes a lot of sense. It mm-hmm. uh, it, it it fires really accurately. Yeah. Um, oh my, yes. My my biggest problem with it was that you mm-hmm. could not operate it with just one hand, and it sounds like the hammer shot might have solved that problem. Hammer that's, shot is that's super really cool. cool. Yeah, I just you know what's funny is uh, when yes. when I was in college, I uh, I came home i was i was just like frustrated with college or something like that and i had one roommate and i uh i brought i i went to walgreens before i uh i came back home and i found two mavericks and i uh i threw one in the door 
like onto the couch and uh, and threw a pack of uh, of uh, of darts. And I was like, there's a war. And I like ran into my room and he and I just like blew off steam for like an hour just shooting, uh, shooting nerf at each other. Nice. It was it was wonderful uh, therapy. It really is. Oh, and we once uh, killed a fly with one of those. No things. way. That's pretty. Was ama- that's impressive. There's, there's a picture of us aiming at the wall, both aiming at the wall in a very sort of John Woo type of uh, perfect, perfectly framed way. It's 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 epic, and we killed it. Nice. It was great. Nice. <laughs> that's not like killing something with uh, so they're with darts. To, man. So they're supposed to be safe. <laughs> It's so tiny. <laughs> the the fly. Sure. Uh, what what other me- me- mechanical advances do they have though? Like, uh, you know, where where has this gone? Since? Let's let's uh, let's even say uh, beyond mechanical advances, which uh, okay. sounds like th- they've just kind of upgraded their uh, their uh, uh, motors and chamber systems. Mm-hmm. Um, Absolutely. I- I'd say uh, mechanic advantages, where uh, okay. they've had a lot more engineers come on. Uh, mm-hmm. even recently we have seen some ridiculous things like pretty much nerf droids. Like what? there, there are, there are two, uh, retail, uh, nerf toys that you can get that are, uh, pretty much like remote controlled droids. One is nice. like a tank with a gun on top. Uh, that that's you pretty just, logical. You, yeah. Yeah. You just, you drive it like a remote control car. Uh, and mm-hmm. the other one is like pretty much like an evil scientist's, uh, like standard robot where it has kind of like spidery legs and it kind of crawls along and Ooh. also has a gun. And I think, <laughs> I think camera on top, maybe, <gasps> maybe no camera. Um, let's also I mean, say it's self-aware just to be completely yeah. nerf evil. This is the, the origin of the terminators. Yes. Uh, it's, it's combining, uh, Kenneth Branagh's character in, uh, in wild, wild west wow. with, yeah, yeah, deep cut. Thank you very much. Uh with uh with Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is Skynet, folks. Yep. Yep. Skynet. It's happening. Now, Skynet. There you go. Uh now uh yeah, why wouldn't the next step be Bluetooth uh uh it's you know, capable stuff or uh operating it from your phone? You know, that would be fantastic. So you could hunt people down without even seeing them. Don't you doubt for a second that <laughs> our governments don't have satellites. <laughs> Just launch a, a gigantic nerf dart. Doesn't doesn't hurt anybody, but scares the <laughs> shit out of them and probably leaves a mark. Drops a drone nuke. It just lets them know that it's on for something <laughs> safe. <laughs> so actually, there are a couple of cross promotional items um with nerf uh, there's there's a lot of uh I- imitation stuff from from like kenner and boomco and different stuff like that which include the halo stuff that i was talking about before but actually star wars and marvel have a lot of um of official nerf stuff because they come from hasbro sure. um also um funny enough uh the uh uh there are a couple of uh, Transformer stuff, uh, Optimus Prime, Battle Rig, Blaster, different stuff like that. There's uh, Tony Stark's arm uh, that that shoots stuff out. There's, um, I, I think they have the Captain America uh, gauntlet or f- Stealth Shield fighter. Uh, yeah, um, different stuff like that. So uh, because you know, they they can get away with it. Of course you're going to want to give these uh, movies uh, the the pump up with your awesome brand of something that the kids can play around with. Literal there's even pump a, up. There's, <laughs> there's even a, 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 a little Nerf Thor battle hammer, which is super fun. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, those are, uh, the you know, uh, slightly weak, slightly uh, not, not the classic nerf look to them you know no. so um but there there is a new line of guns there's uh there's several it's, there are several <laughs> there that's true there's uh i was talking about the zombie strike one earlier um there's an alien hunter one or alien menace which i feel is I, kind of the, the the same as the zombie strike but uh, still yeah. like um very like solid uh nerf guns 
Well, the interesting thing, they they just work really nicely. And the difference between those two actually, uh, and difference between a lot of different, um, nerf guns that came before are that are, are the uh physical press the design of the of the gun with uh zombie strike i like i was saying i have the hammer shot and it's it looks like it almost has leather or bandaging or some sort of thing uh, around the uh the stock of it yeah like so apocalyptic so kind of like take on uh Take yeah. on their their best guns, maybe or yeah, yeah, exactly. Like like if you took it and uh you know you were having having trouble holding on, you you wrap something around so it just looks dirtier, kind of. And with alien hunters, I think that that dumb kid that I was watching earlier on YouTube, he actually made a point that there's no um side or top rails to uh to slide in anything any of the accessories but there are like uh piping down the uh down the side of it and different weird uh writing on the thing so mainly it's the uh it's all aesthetics it, it's it's all aesthetics yeah. you know it's but it is a uh it it does give you a different feel with the uh, with the uh, with the gun, well, that, which is interesting that, to me. That's the difference between uh, that that series, which is uh, I don't know, kind of more rounded as like uh, one off guns, as opposed to sure. like the End Strike series, which has been running for a long time. Uh, yeah, where there, it's it's uh, almost in a way kind of uh, modulized, where there are separate accessories you can buy. You can take sure. off things from uh, from other guns, like. Uh, I don't know, like the the from the rampage, the, you could take off like the the drum uh, mm-hmm. that has ammo in it. Uh, there was one that I think it was called the Nerf Recon. You could take mm-hmm. off like the extended barrel or the stock, and you get attached right. to different weapons. Which I don't know that that's kind of cool. It's very Tuco from uh, from the good, <laughs> the bad, and the ugly. You put oh, put yeah, together yeah. your own weapon and w- whatever works for you. Absolutely. Like there, there's also, um, the, uh, the scope you can change to, you can, uh, you can, you can do, oh, oh, there's, uh, there's one that I actually, uh, shot our mutual friend with, uh, on the, uh, the mega it's, it's, it's a, oh, it's the Centurion and you can actually have it, uh, handheld or it has, uh, sniper stocks on the bottom that like fold out and uh, and and they're like a basically a tripod or a a dipod, two <laughs> things at the bottom of it, and it supports the end of it. So you could snipe someone with your horribly overpowered gun. This thing had probably a foot long stri- uh, spring in it, and it is damaging. I will say that like it leaves if you are within 10 feet of somebody, it leaves a mark. If somebody was working on uh, a Lego construct and you fired that in there, you you would really ruin their day. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I got to say that the mega series is uh, that has to be the culmination of like some kid who played Nerf uh, from the beginning and then like yeah. now graduate to like the top of the Nerf Corporation, just like. Bigger and harder. You, these things need to be just like devastating, and they are. What, and I, I've I've given a couple of these as gifts, and yeah, some of them only fire like one shot, and that's yeah. really all you need because you definitely got hit by this. I just like it, it's like firing a finger, like a like a grown yeah. man, like construction workers, like finger is just rough. Just it barely just has a nail you. on the end of it. Point net, yeah, yeah. It could grab a, grab you. a nail right out of the wall. Yeah, it's uh listen listen I I got this great idea for a gun. It just hurts people. <laughs> well, I mean that's kind of antithetical to the whole uh nerf thing of of just you know having fun. I want it to hurt. <laughs> that's just, that's the, that's the, all they want. The the Soprano series uh of uh nerf guns. Yeah, he took over that startup in Montana sure. and uh He's uh, he's making everything bad now. Nobody likes him anymore. Uh, yeah, uh, I I also you know what I also have I found a little uh, little one shot dude. I think it's the Jolt or something like that. You just hmm. pull down at the on um, on the um, on the uh, handle, and it comes it like a an extended piece comes out, and then you have like a. a 
just a one shot. It's very it, weird. You know what? I I might have found that same thing. Like last year for Christmas, I got <laughs> my whole family like these little t- small handheld yeah. ones. I believe it was in the End Strike series. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, it was like it was supposed to be like a mini crossbow. Like you you pull the <laughs> the lever back to cock it. And wings basically come out from the side of it like a crossbow. And also oh. a crosshair pops up from the top of it. And it fires pretty freaking hard and fairly Dang. accurately. Um, that is, that's intense. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Um, well, well, that's, yeah. That's, I mean, we that, there's so many. Oh, there's even a, um, a girl nerf series. Oh, yeah, totally. Um I think in uh, the like around 2010, they they mm-hmm. released that. I, that's the uh, Rebel series. Yes. Uh, I, my daughter has one. Uh, my girlfriend oh, cool. has one. And it, it's I honestly, it's pretty much the exact same ones that they have for uh, the zombie hunter. Um, OK. But, yeah. Like still solid guns. And the only totally. thing that I can see that they changed is uh, some aesthetics. Uh, it's got some sure. cool like, um, I don't know, like pinstriping on it and like some mm-hmm. uh, graphics. Uh, different color schemes d- definitely different color schemes yeah. um mm-hmm. i don't know I, I i feel like almost it's kind of like similar to like lego kind of doing a uh like girl take on their uh, some of their sets like yeah they, absolutely there's a princess yeah. collection and and this I don't, and there's also a science girl collection which is really cool yeah feels a little half-hearted and just kind of mm. like um i don't know phoned in <laughs> but uh, it's there at least i mean it's better than it, yeah. it just being like this is a boy thing yeah yeah exactly um yeah no i'm 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 all for that i think there should be a little bit more of that and and also i mean i i think it's interesting that they have to do that because certain colors are for certain genders you know it 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 feels like it should just all be hey you you can like orange and yellow that's all right i wouldn't know aj i'm i'm gender blind so (laughs) Hey, listen, my father's best friend is colorblind, so don't even make fun of color gender blind. I don't know what issue we're arguing on we're, now. We're segueing hard Good to the Lord. end of this Damn. podcast right this second. Scoring, <laughs> where are you at? Yes. Nerf, um, like, is this worth keeping in our memory or is this total crap? Delete it. Listen, uh, I am going to go... I'm going to say that uh, I'm, uh, th- this is not ne- non-negotiable. This is non-negotiable. Uh, it's it's 10 super max darts. Dude, for me. Seriously, yeah. I, I was I was like, I like I, I never want to give a 10 out of 10. Right. Um, but like that's I, a, that's like creating nine, a ceiling nine does not feel right like this. No. I feel like this was such a positive thing in yeah. in my childhood. Uh, I mean, yeah, you're running around, you're you're you know, bang bang, <laughs> uh, you know, shooting at people. But right. like I, this, you know, forced me to do physical activity, interact yeah. with people on our street, uh, sure. strategize, um, <laughs> like take uh, and sometimes take guns apart, figure out how they yeah, work mechanically. Um, fascinating honestly like the, the whole mm-hmm. fucking thing and even its evolution to today like revisiting yeah. it man so fucking cool and like such a huge community of people that support this and are like really passionate about it uh, i think i'm gonna have to give it a 10 like seriously yeah. i give this 10 solid uh like stiff mega darts like so fucking <laughs> ugh, devastating mm. Get, no, I'm I'm, Black I'm glad eyes you and, like cauliflowered <laughs> ear. God damn. I'm glad you agree because honestly, yes, it it uh it demonstrates and and stands for some sort of violence, but at least it's safe violence. At least it uh it allows kids to um to be more active. I like that they still exist because kids play on their uh you know, on their video games. I, I'm such an old man right now, but they they don't experience outside. They don't experience um, what it's like to interact with somebody and run after a dart or something like that. I want that to continue on. And I, I, I'm glglad that I had it in my life at 100 so, percent. Like I, I wouldn't yeah. wouldn't change a fucking thing about it, honestly. Hell no. And I, yeah. I just <laughs> bought 
my daughter her first Nerf gun, which is a <gasps> it's a girl uh, rebel uh, series crossbow. And it's pretty oh. cool. Like it works Hell really yeah. freaking well. <laughs> That's super cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, I can't wait to be shot by that. Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure the next time so I w- you, visit you guys, she'll she'll shoot me right in the forehead. You won't even <laughs> see it coming. Oh, she's a sneaky little assassin. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, fantastic. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, you can uh, you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook if you want to. Hear. Sidewalks if you see us. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but don't please i mean just come up next to us don't that's that's cr- a little creepy yeah. i'm i'm watching you uh and uh and you can uh, subscribe on itunes we're on google play and you can go to uh out of memory to listen to any of our inter our uh Ooh, episodes do we have interviews <laughs> we definitely will by the time this comes out but probably not i mean we're interviewing each other yes that's essentially what it is today we interviewed uh, <laughs> um what's coming up next time chris Ooh, uh next time uh 15 ways to make uh, hot pockets a horrible meal acid wa- <laughs> it all acid- starts it all ends with eating it <laughs> Acid wash jeans. Could denim be whiter? <laughs> and we'll tackle the conspiracy behind Nirvana. Are there actually two Dave Rolls? And finally, the difference between producer Dick Wolf and Wolf Dick. Jesus. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening, everybody. We'll see you next time. Get out of here. <laughs>